Our kidneys are true marvels of nature and perform vital tasks. Among other things, they stabilize blood pressure, regulate water balance, and monitor oxygen saturation in the blood. If this is too low, the kidneys release erythropoietin, which stimulates the production of red blood cells. The blood can then absorb more oxygen and transport it throughout the body. Our kidneys produce about one to two liters of urine every day. Waste products such as uric acid, creatinine, and urea can only be excreted from the body in sufficient quantities via urine. If this excretion does not occur, the metabolic products accumulate in the blood and lead to serious health problems. Without treatment, this can even be fatal in the worst case. Strictly speaking, filtration of the blood takes place in the nephron. Each kidney contains approximately one million of these small elements. The nephron consists of a capsule and a long tubule. There is a tiny blood vessel in the capsule. Water and molecules up to a certain size leave the blood vessel and form urine. This flows through the connecting tube system, with most of the water and electrolytes being reabsorbed by the body. The urine travels through the ureters to the bladder and can be excreted. Urinary stones can obstruct the flow of urine and ultimately even damage the kidneys. If the concentration of certain substances in the urine is too high, there is a risk that crystals will form and clump together to form larger conglomerates. This is promoted by factors such as poor diet, lack of exercise, and insufficient fluid intake. However, if the urinary stones are small, they can usually be passed without any problems. If larger conglomerates form and block a ureter, this not only causes severe pain, but also leads to urinary retention. As a result, the renal pelvis visibly expands, and prolonged congestion can cause significant damage to the organ over time. The affected kidney also responds by reducing its filtration capacity. Less blood is purified by the organ, resulting in less or no urine production. However, if only one kidney is affected, the other increases its filtration capacity to compensate for the loss. In the case of unilateral obstruction, there is therefore usually no reduction in urine production. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe for more medical content made simple. Thanks for watching.